Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Gallagher Stadium here in Maidstone. Relationships always have ups and downs and this season has been mainly about the downs for the Saints fans. But after the departure of David Noble, a faltering season um, and then the despair of Monday against Averley, what is in store for us today? As this is the season of goodwill, and has it come early for St Albans with the appointment of Ian Calderhouse and Paul Bastock? Are they the saviours that we're waiting for as the Saints face a tricky match versus an inconsistent stone side? Led by, of course, their very charismatic George Elakobi. I'm Johnny Seabrook, alongside Pete Mayhew, as we said, down here at the Gallagher Stadium on a gloomy grey afternoon. Uh, he enters into the centre circle, gives it to uh, Temi Awika, who we said, of course, scored that goal, the winner at Clarence Park back in a, a warm August Saturday afternoon. And now Blair over on that right hand side. Couldn't be further from that today. I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the coldness that we had on Thursday, uh, but it's just a bit of a grim afternoon. And Blair's got some space in the area, turns, shoots, Johnson all down to his right hand side. The ball is still alive though. And the cross comes back in, an opportunity, Blair has it again. And Maystone are causing problems as Papadopoulos now puts the ball back in. It catches the deflection and running in at the back post was Cundall. And there was a suspicion there of a foul. But Cundall didn't overly appeal for it, but um, St Albans uh, survived there by the skin of their teeth. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's um, all swings and roundabouts there. And talking of falling over... Matt Lynch just goes flying in front of us. And James Sweet as well goes flying. But um, he manages to stay on his feet. And he's up against uh, Blair. And uh, Aaron Blair just whips the ball back into Brooks. Brooks plays it in. And Bentley's got some space. And now an opportunity and a shot. And the opening goal comes in from Papadopoulos. After a mistake from Lewis Michio at the back post. He misjudged the flight of the ball and the bounce of the ball. And it went over him. And Anthony Papadopoulos had time just to stride it and stroke it into the corner. Yeah, come They've on. They've got to believe and, uh, yeah, look to, look to press on. I guess it's difficult, the new manager trying to adapt to that style and uh, it seems to be a slightly more direct style, as we've said, so yeah. it's going to be a change for And St. Banton, who sort of really struggled to get into this game, is just dispossessed of, of the ball and um, Partington is up against um, Blair on that far side and the ball comes into the middle and this what? time a great save as James Sweet got on the end of Blair's cross Banton takes position just on the penalty spot he comes in as well the ball comes in um, too close to Alexis Andre Jr who comes and gathers and then bowls it out over to this left hand side to us and it's picked up by Blair and Blair now coming into the penalty area goes past Sweet his opportunity shoots and hits the but Banton very much in the middle Castiglione looks like he's on the left yeah yeah and Rasulo sort of um, yeah right sided and um, Jeffers just helps it on to Michio Michio furthest forward he's been and gets oh. it back to Banton and Banton just has an opportunity but just snatched it a little bit yeah quite particular there wasn't she the referee um, yeah, Rightly so. and now well, it's an opportunity, uh, and they go forward. Yeah, Johnson read that well, but Blair just instantly, instantly on his bike the minute that ball's played forward. He is so fast. And now up. here comes Jeffers. Jeffers comes into the area. He's the edge of the D. Jeffers shoots, but didn't really get hold of it from Sean Jeffers there. St Albans moving the ball very nicely. Comes to Sweet. Comes back to Lynch. Maidstone getting numbers behind the ball. In fact, all of their ten players were behind the ball at that moment in time. It comes to Banton again. Banton now to Castelloni. Castelloni, can he find the pass to the right-hand side? There's space over there. It now comes over to this right-hand side. Stroked in from Rasulu. A uh, little dummy from Castelloni. Picked up by Banton, who's become more and more influential. And the ball's flicked in the middle. Get Joel! Ooh, comes goodness. looking for it, and the keeper missed it. And the free kick has actually gone Maidstone's way. And it looked like the keeper was sort of caught out then. And... I wouldn't say either. I think that was a 50-50, wasn't it? It was all a bit messy. Come well, Akinola offers something, doesn't he? Something a bit different, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I just, it'd be interesting to see what Ian Colverhouse uh, can do. He whips the ball um, into Banton. And uh, Banton holds onto the ball with Rasulu over that right-hand side. Can they engineer something? Little pass comes inside. This time Lynch is forward. Lynch shoots. And a goal. Oh, forcing a good save out of uh, Alexis Andre Jr. St Albans really gambling, going for the points. I would imagine, Pete, if they score, 
it might change again the shape yes I, th I think you might be right I think we might protect what we have if yeah. we a bit, get a well goal let's let's get something first indeed but it is um, Lynch on the ball Lynch to uh, Castelloni Castelloni the ball comes into the middle Ken Charles oh! and a great header from Ken Charles from the cross and St Albans are back in this game well 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 we've been saying they've been playing better this second half and passing it around much better and finding the crosses in space out on the right for Rasulo putting a delicious ball and Charles so confident at the moment of course just attacked it such a connection into the bottom uh, right and uh, left corner of the uh, Mason goal and you've got Michio up against him you've got Lynch behind him and that's where the ball's going into that area Lynch Every gets time, to it yeah. Jeffers helps it on but there's no one there and it comes straight back out and pumped back in from Maidstone an opportunity from Maidstone and Maidstone score Michael Johnson appeals for a hand and the free kick has been given no goal no goal the yeah. referee is given a handball against the Maidstone player and it is going to be a St Albans free kick so take a deep breath yeah so Maidstone 1 St Albans 1 if you've just tuned in Maidstone though no, tossing the ball into their area it is a flick on the ball bouncing around here's an opportunity and Maidstone hit the post and now the shot's in there but what's happened everyone seems to have frozen and stopped what's going on Michael here? Johnson has stopped the ball has ended up in the goal the referee is surrounded is surrounded by players. I, I think they're saying it, it ricocheted from the back of the goal. Yeah, the referee has walked the across. She's surrounded by players. Now, I'm just going to have a little look here to see what the referee's decision is. The referee is having a conversation with her official down on this right-hand side. She's telling the players to go away. No, and no, no, goal. no goal. No goal. No goal again. No goal again. Well, no goal driving. again. Talk about living, <laughs> living by the skin of your teeth. Oh. So it looks like, and then there's something actually, there's an altercation oh, now taking place oh, down in front of us on this right-hand side. Control has actually been lost a little bit. I, has, has the ball hit the outside of the post, uh, hit the wheel I and bounced it, back on? I think it's exactly that, John. I think it's gone out of play and bounced back on and someone slotted it in and the Saints players have stopped because they know it's gone out. It's now 4-0 to Salisbury against Hemel Hempstead. Hemel Hempstead absolutely crumbling again like they did on Monday night and now the ball over on this right hand side for St Albans St Albans Lynch just playing a long ball forward looking for Ken Charles but out comes Andre Junior and he clips it long but it's gone straight down the other end and Blair has got an opportunity over comes Partington it's end to end stuff here and now the ball's with Papadopoulos he's urged to shoot it's come to Corn on the right hand side Corn clips it to the back post Ooh. and there was was there a push or a foul at the back no the referee goal gives kick. St Albans a goal kick emotions are high Wow. Come on, referee. Blow that whistle. And now as Corn pumps the ball back in, Michael Johnson comes for Great. it. Gets both fists to it, but it's held back into the area. And the ball goes for a goal kick. Surely that's got to be the end of it. It's good to see MJ coming for those. Yeah, yeah. It's very positive goalkeeping, wasn't it? He got a great punch on it. And it, uh, finally went out for a goal kick. Anyway, take a breather. He's going to set us up. Dance anthems with Andy Waterfield follows us at five o'clock. I wonder if that is going to be as exciting. Stay <laughs> tuned to find out. Followed by the, the jazz funk soul show appeal to Stapleton. Then the late date with Derek Staines. It's Hertfordshire's mix, 92.6. And there goes the final whistle here at the Gallagher oh. Stadium. And there's booze around the, the ground from the Maidstone fans. Cheers from the St Albans fans. And that has been a performance, especially a second half of guts, determination and zeal and it finishes Maystone 1, St Albans 1 Yeah, gosh, take a breather that second half had everything oh my word, I think the Saints played superbly well scored the goal to get the equaliser and then hung on tenaciously but not just hung on, had other opportunities so a lot of promise there for the new management team and I think they'll be delighted with that second half performance because that really showed some character didn't it, to hold on